Hi, in this lecture, we will be talking about the basics of variation. Variation means when you have two or more quantities and the change in one quantity, the change in the value of one quantity causes a similar or a proportional change in the quantity or in the value of another quantity. What I mean is, suppose you have two quantities A and B and if I increase the value of quantity A, the value of quantity B also increases and if I decrease the value of quantity A, the value of quantity B also decreases. In the case of C and D, suppose if I increase the value of quantity C, the value of quantity D decreases and if I decrease the value of quantity C, the value of quantity D increases then these quantities are said to be varying with each other or in proportion to each other. Okay. Now, there are about three major types of variation. And there is one extra type, we cannot exactly call it a type, but you will see it uh, used in a lot of scientific calculations and in also a few questions. We call it variation by parts. Suppose you have two quantities A and B and if you increase the value of A, value of B also increases. If you decrease the value of A, value of B also decreases. Then we say A and B are directly proportional to each other. Okay. This is called direct variation. How do we use this in questions is something like this. You will say A is equal to where M is a constant. Okay. Now, for inverse variation, let's say C and D are in inverse variation. Okay. They are inversely proportional to each other. Which means if I increase the value of C, the value of D decreases or if I decrease the value of C, the value of D increases and vice versa. Okay? This means that C is inversely proportional to D. We write this as C is equal to MD where D is just any constant. Now joint variation. Suppose you have E being proportional to F and E is also proportional to G, then we write E is equal to K F G, where K is just another constant. This is joint variation. Okay. It means that E is varying as F, E is also varying as G and jointly E is equal to KFG. Now you could also have E varying inversely as F and E varying directly as G. Then our representation would have become something like this. Okay. This is simple. And variation by parts. Okay. When you say A is varying you know, partly A is partly constant and is partly varying as let's say M, then how do we represent it? We say A is equal to P1 plus Pm or P2M, where P1, P2 are constants. This is the basic theory regarding variation. Okay. I'll give you simple examples of direct variation and inverse variations. Suppose the question says that the value of A is equal to 10 when value of B is equal to 5. And you have to calculate the value of A when the value of B is given to you as 10. So we use this first. 
we say a is and it is given to you that a is proportional to b okay so we say a is proportional to b it implies a is equal to nb or pb whatever n being a constant here now a is equal to 10 from here b is 5 here so n into 5 n clearly becomes 2 we have the value of n the constant from this we put this in this equation we say a is equal to 2 into b here is 10 so a becomes 20 when b is equal to 10 this is an example of direct variation similarly you can solve for inverse variation suppose a is inversely proportional to b okay this implies a is equal to nb or mb or pb whatever you want to write p being the constant here now the values are given suppose like this that a is equal to 100 when b is equal to 2 now you put it over here you can see a is equal to 100 is equal to p by 2 so p becomes 200 and if the question asks any other variation there like it says that a is equal to 200 then what is the value of b then all we have to do is just put the value of 2 in this equation and we can get the answer 200 is equal to 2 upon b so b is equal to 1 upon 100 so this is all about variation move on to the practice questions best of luck